Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this video is for LSU Tigers 1010. Uh, I asked about some uh, LED flashlights, so I'm uh, making this video to show you some of uh, my favorite ones and uh, the ones I use. Um, to start off, I'm going to show you something that's uh, fairly cheap, fairly small. Uh, this is the Dorsey 1 watt LED flashlight. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly small flashlight. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe three inches, three and a half inches long. Very compact, puts out a good amount of light. You see, there's a um, a uh, the lens here is uh, like a focus lens. It puts out a very clear beam. Uh, I don't have a a uh, battery in here. Let me get one in there. Um, I'm stealing it from the uh, Nova Light. It takes one AAA battery. get this here. Just one normal AAA battery. Okay, positive end first. And then you screw the back on. Now when you screw this all the way down, you have constant on. It says a little five millimeter LED in here. Now it may be hard to see on the wall there. Uh, obviously because it's uh, it's light out, I'm not gonna be able to show this very good. But uh, on the wall so you can see it's a very smooth, even beam. Um, no artifacts, is, it, and by artifacts I'm, I'm using kind of a flashlight term here, but that means that in the, the beam itself there's no dark spots, uh, overly light spots. It's very even, very smooth beam. Uh, this is good as a, a keychain light around the house. Uh, if, you're, you, if your power goes out or something, this is a great light. Uh, like This is about a $5 light at Walmart. They come in a variety of colors. This is what it looks like stock. Um, this is just a gold one I bought, and I, I had, had added uh, some O-rings here, just for grip and you know for the overall look, and uh, a glow-in-the-dark O-ring here too. But this is how they come straight from the store. Um, besides screwing this all the way down for constant on, uh, if you back it up a little bit, just push this button. You can push and hold this button down for momentary on, uh, you know, just to use it. You know, for a couple seconds or whatever, and then once you, once you release your your finger off the button, it shuts off. Um, so it's a great great light. This is uh, highly recommended uh, on the forums. Uh, if you're into flashlights or want to get uh, learn a little bit more about flashlights, it's very interesting. You have to check out a forum called CandlePowerForums.com. Uh, they're awesome, and the guys over there are extremely intelligent. Uh, they do a lot of modifications. They they make flashlights uh, brighter than you can imagine. <laughs> but for the most part, for uh, someone new getting into flashlights or don't, doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money, this is highly recommended. Uh, and they come, like I said, variety of colors. It's uh, anodized aluminum. Uh, five bucks at Walmart. Can't beat that. So actually, I'm going to take the battery back out to show you the next light. Now I'm using here what's called a battery upsizer. Now I'm taking the AAA, okay, that I just used in that uh, Dorsey. Uh, and I'm using this battery upsider, which is just a, a capsule, upsizer, excuse me. Uh, so that enables me to take a double A, or excuse me, a triple A, and make it a double A size battery. Now it's going to put out the same amount of energy, so it's not going to uh, dim the light in any way, but it's going to enable me to use a smaller battery in a bigger package. Okay, so I'm going from a triple A to a double A to use in this Innova X1. Now, as you can see, this takes one. Uh, one AA battery, tail cap screws on. Uh, this is a very high quality light. Innovas are very high quality. Um, nice and smooth, like these threads are really smooth, good O-rings. Um, now this, this light itself uh, is about $20 light at, um, at Walmart. Walmart sells it, uh, you can even find it I think at Kmart. Um, but uh, also outdoor stores or even online. Now the Innova, uh, when you when it's always screwed down, you have the constant on, okay. The same uh, the same uh, beam. It's kind of hard. I can't really show the beams right now, but uh, you have the, the constant on. And then when you back it up a little bit, just like the uh, the Dorsey's, uh, you have a button here. Only that instead of a button here, this is just basically a rubber cover. And you're when you push on this, you're pushing the battery, the the cell itself, uh, down to complete that circuit. Okay, and that's for momentary on. Um, very good light. Uh, love this light. This is uh, this is actually my first good 
uh, small flashlight. Like I said, about $20. Uh, then I upgraded to the next light, which is my favorite user night, uh, light. This is a Phoenix brand flashlight. The model is an L1S. This takes one AA battery. This is a $35 flashlight, but well, well worth the investment. A single alkaline AA battery. And this is some gnome name crappy battery, but it works just fine. Very high quality lights. I have to say Phoenix brand lights, by far the best flashlight you can buy for the money in LED technology um, for its size and price. Obviously when you get into Surefire lights and stuff like that, uh, much better, but obviously that, that price tags are going to go way up. For $35, this is an awesome light. Um, it's got a reverse uh, clicky on the back. Click it. Click it once to uh, turn on. You can see that very uh, bright beam in the background there, even though this is during the day. Extremely bright light. Um, this has two modes. By rotating the bezel here, I can go from this mode that's it's on high right now, and by rotating it slightly, I can go into low. I don't know if you can tell the difference there, but that's low, high. Low, high. And what's good about that is you can put it into low, and that'll make your uh, battery last longer. Um, you know, and especially you know, considering whatever you're using your flashlight for, you might not want that uh, extra high beam. Maybe you're reading in a car or something like that, uh, and it's a little, um, a little, uh, what's the word, um, distracting. So uh, again, just click on and off. Uh, you can see the camera here. It's a little bit too bright for the camera. I don't know if this is going to show up like this, but I'm seeing like purple lines, stripes. Uh, but it's an awesome, awesome light. Uh, can't beat it. For the price, uh, I really want to try some other Phoenix lights. I have a, a little keychain light on my keys, the uh, EO. Um, but I believe this is a one watt LED. Uh, very, very nice light. By far my favorite uh, favorite light of all time. Uh, best buy ever. Uh, you have to check out Phoenix lights if you're if you want to uh, seriously buy a good flashlight. It's gonna last you. And I picked this model over other ones just because of the fact that it uses a single, very easily found AA battery. Uh, the next one, oh, I already showed you this one, that's the Innova. Uh, the next one here is a simple 2 AA mag light, okay, most people have these or, you know, at least know about them, with a simple uh, LED upgrade. This is a 3 LED, 5 millimeter LED uh, upgrade made by a company called Night Eyes, uh, N-I-T-E dash I-Z-E. Um, this is an $8 upgrade. Your flashlight, if you don't have one already, is about $10 at Walmart you know, or, or wherever you can find them. So it's a $10 light to begin with. And then the uh, upgrade itself is $8. Now to turn this on, you just rotate this bezel. Okay. And then it's on. Um, the upgrade itself, very easy. You, you unscrew the bezel, take it off. Okay. And just pull this out. You're going to have your incandescent bulb by pin. There's two little pinholes there. You take your bulb out. Okay. And you put in your upgrade, which is the same thing, by pin. Uh, just make sure that the pins are lined up so that when you push it down and you have your batteries in, that it's lit. Okay, then you uh, screw this back down, all the way down into the off position. So real quick, you rotate that, and you got your light. Really simple. Uh, if you don't have this light at all, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be about an $18 investment. Uh, very good. Very durable lights. Uh, really quick, I want to show you, if you didn't already know, uh, all mag lights, and some people don't know this, but... Every single mag light has a spare bulb underneath the tail cap. You unscrew the tail cap, okay, and you have this spring here. You pop the spring off, and then you're going to have a battery, uh, excuse me, a bulb holder, okay. Pop that out, and this little piece of plastic here is actually holding your spare bulb. And this is the regular incandescent bulb. Not many people know that. Small mag lights, large mag lights, they all have a replacement bulb in the tail cap. So if you have a, a traditional um, mag light uh, and your bulb breaks for some reason, you don't have to go out and buy a new one. You got the spare in the tail cap ready to go. And then you just pop your spring back on and you're all ready to go. So um, that's pretty cool about this. You know, if I for some reason wanted to switch it out, I'm using regular uh, AA alkalines. So at any point I can just take that new module back out and go back to an incandescent. Um, the only thing about this, it comes with the uh, custom reflector that will replace the old one. That's all in the package. And uh, you're ready to go. So uh, this is part one of my flashlights. I'm at 10 minutes, so I'm going to make a part two. 
Uh, thank you for your time.